I've ridden mountain bikes and dirt bikes my entire life, and currently I ride mostly with my son. My son's 13 and rides a full face at all times. He's getting older and the terrain's getting steeper and the jumps are getting bigger. So when I'm developing a product, first thing I think of is, would I let my son wear it? That's the most important thing to me. I know how hard you can hit the ground, and so it's very important that what we develop gives the person wearing it as much confidence as possible. When we briefed the Gambit, we wanted to make sure that we were pushing our comfort zone. People are riding different than they used to, both with e-bikes but also with enduro racing. So we looked at the Gambit and tried to create a helmet that would give us lightweight, give us huge ventilation for the climbs up, and give us the protection when you're going down. We took a step back when we started this project. We didn't want to just make another helmet, so we tried to look at a fundamental point of view and start from scratch. For the Gambit, we truly started from the inside out. We developed the channeling that we wanted to have the ventilation follow, and then we built the EPS around that and then built the shell around that. By being able to go from the inside out, you get the protection and the confidence you need but still have the ventilation that you would have with a half shell. The Gambit has a few features that kind of stand out. You have that DH certification on a full face, you have the volume that you're looking for, and you have that confidence-inspiring feel having that chin bar there. We spent a lot of time and a lot of prototypes to make sure that the chin bar and the visors were in the exact right spot. We use our integrated fit system so you can have really clean, open air channels front to back in that helmet. You do away with your typical friction fit padding, and that allows to have really nice airflow and ventilation so you're comfortable on the way up, but you have the confidence you want to ride the trails on the way down. It was challenging to add a fit system, but still keep the low cut line aesthetic. So we hid the adjuster for the fit system in the rear vent of the helmet. And so you don't really see it, but it's there. Part of what makes the Gambit really unique is the construction and engineering process we used. We have a three-layer system where we have a carbon shell on the outside, EPS foam on the inside, and then PC reinforcement sandwiched in between. With that construction technique, it allows us to have five separate pieces of EPS foam so we can specifically design what density foam we put into what location in the helmet, which just helps with our impacts and performance of that helmet. Every last little detail was thought of when we were designing this helmet. We have this very symbiotic relationship between the designers and the engineer, and I think we ended up with the pinnacle of what a lightweight full face should be. It not only is amazing looking, it functions on every aspect that we wanted it to. The Gambit, we set out with this like unobtainable goal, and we surpassed that goal. It is a dream project and a dream product.